Are you a telecommunications engineer and willing to work or settle in Australia? If yes, then this video is for you. In this video, we are going to tell you exactly about the career scope and the most important employment related details for the profile of a telecommunications engineer. You can also watch this video in Hindi by following the link in description. Hi friends, welcome to A to Z Immigration Updates, your own global immigration information channel. In our video series on skill and career scope for professionals in Australia, we are back with a new video. We will discuss regarding a brief about the job description that an Australian the employer expects from a telecommunications engineer. The best industry sectors for your profile where a telecommunications engineer can easily get a job. The minimum education and experience required to work in Australia as a telecommunications engineer. Skill level, license, and registration requirements for your profile gender ratio and main age group working on the profile of a telecommunications engineer job openings past five years analysis future expectations and career scope in your field we will also discuss the average weekly work hours and wage rate or salary that you will get for your work at the end of the video we will tell you about various visa options to work get permanent residency and study in australia on your profile so watch the video till the end to get all details First of all we will see the profile description. In Australia for every profile there is a well-defined profile definition for each occupation. It tells us about the expected key responsibility areas or job role of a professional working in that particular occupation. So, let's see the profile definition for your occupation. Telecommunications engineer designs and develops telecommunications systems, devices and products. There are various industry sectors, where a person with this profile can work. Let's see the job sectors and industries for your profile. Telecommunications engineering professionals are mainly employed in information media and telecommunications, professional, scientific and technical services, and financial and insurance services. For every employment a specific level of education is demanded by the employer. The most common level of educational attainment for telecommunications engineer is bachelor degree. In Australia for filing the skilled immigration visas, migration skill assessment is mandatory which is done by different assessing bodies. Every assessing body has its own assessment criteria and different experience requirements. No experience is required for your profile. According to Australian Bureau of Statistics the skill level for your profile is Level 1. In Australia and New Zealand, most occupations in this unit group have a level of skill commensurate with a bachelor degree or higher qualification. At least five years of relevant experience and or relevant vendor certification may substitute for the formal qualification. In some instances relevant experience and or on the job training may be required in addition to the formal qualification. Now let's see workers of which main age group actually participate in your occupation. As per the recent survey of Australian Bureau of Statistics, the main age group is 25 to 34 years and the median age is 37 years. In many of the occupation male and female proportion vary according to the nature of the work. In this occupation, the female share of telecommunications engineer is 14.1%. 
In Australia the work hours for all the job roles are not the same and skill workers can work for full-time or on part-time basis. For full-time work, the remuneration for the work is calculated on the weekly or hourly basis. For your profile, most telecommunications engineer work full-time. Average weekly hours for full-time workers are 40.2. Over the five years to March 2021, the number of job openings for telecommunications engineering professionals is expected to be moderate, equal to or less than 5,000. Job openings count both employment growth and turnover, defined as workers leaving their occupation for other employment or leaving the workforce. There are certain occupations in Australia where the applicant needs a license from the concerned licensing body. To work on your profile the license is not required. Now we will see the most important factor that is, the weekly wage rate. In March 2021, latest available data, weekly earnings full time before tax, and not including employer superannuation, were $1,633, compared to earnings for all occupations of $1,200. If you want to file permanent residency application in any stream the first step to start the process is migration skill assessment. Other than this in some cases, like work permits or to start the professional year after finishing your studies we generally need to get the positive outcome for migration skill assessment. In Australia there are different assessing bodies for different categories of profile. For telecommunications engineer the migration skill assessment is done by Engineers Australia, AIA. As you are an engineer and your assessment will be done by Engineers Australia, so you need to write a competency demonstration report to present your engineering competencies as per the Australian Quality Framework. In this report, you have to write three career episodes, continuing professional development sheet, a summary statement and a CV. This report should be a plagiarism-free report failing in which can lead to a one year to three years of assessment ban. We recommend you to consult our team of experts and take a proper assistance session to clear all your doubts before writing your CDR. In the next section we will discuss regarding the important steps to apply and get a job in Australia. We will also see the most famous job portals where you can find the employment related to your profile. But before moving further if you like this video till now then help us to achieve and win the Target 50k challenge. Target 50k. Subscribe to this channel now and help us to achieve the target of 50k subscribers. We will appreciate your support and if we will get 100 likes on this video then we will make a detailed video on the complete PR process and visa filing for this profile. Tell us in the comments that what do you want to see in the next video. Want to apply for a job in Australia? Either you are presently in Australia or want to apply from overseas, Finding and applying for a job with an Australian employer is a tedious process for a professional. It consists of many crucial steps like creating an Australian-style resume, cover letter preparation, finding a job portal, applying online or offline for a job in your niche or facing an online or offline interview. Before preparing your resume, you must understand that what an Australian employer actually expects from you. A well-drafted resume can really grab a recruiter's attention and set you ahead of the other applicants. The right combination of active language, keywords, and a few subtle tweaks can turn any ordinary resume into a winner. If you want to prepare a professional Australian-style resume, then you can take assistance from our experts or can follow our video series to understand and write a perfect resume that will follow the Australian standards. The Australian government has provided a service to search for employment by the name JobActive, through its dedicated portal, www.jobsearch.gov.au JobActive helps both employers and employees. At no cost to you, it can find the right job for you. You can also share your CV and take assistance from our team to find suitable opportunities for you within our valuable network of direct employers and employment agencies. Adzuna, Career One, CareerJet, and Indeed Australia are a few other popular names for finding jobs in Australia. 
Follow the link in the description and connect to our experts and also download a detailed list of the top 15 job portals where you can apply online to get the best suitable employment opportunities in Australia for your profile. Now we will see a list of available visa subclasses and pathways for getting permanent residency or work permits of Australia. Permanent residency and work visa options. In Australia, there are various pathway programs and visa subclasses through which a professional can either get a work permit or permanent residency in Australia. These visa subclasses are mainly divided into the following categories. PR through skilled migration visas, subclass 189, 887, and 191. State or regional nomination visas, subclass 190 and 491. Employer-sponsored visas, subclass 186, 187, 482, and 457. Business innovation, investment and entrepreneur stream visas 888 and 188. Global talent visas for some specific targeted sectors and subclass 476 skilled recognized graduate visa. Most of these visas provide the applicants with an opportunity to work and a pathway to settle permanently in Australia. Although these visas generally remain available but are not always open for every occupation. So if you want to check which visa subclasses are open for the profile of a telecommunications engineer, then you can check the link in the description. You can also watch our dedicated video on PR filing for a telecommunications engineer by the title Australian Permanent Residency and Work Visa Filing Process for Telecommunications Engineer. In this series, you will get the step-by-step -step solution to filing the permanent residency, specifically for a telecommunications engineer. The next thing to discuss is the available visa options and visa subclasses for study and settle in Australia. So let's have a brief glimpse on it. Study visa options for a telecommunications engineer. If you are a student and want to become a telecommunications engineer then Australia can be one of the most preferred destinations in the world to study and settle. A student can file under subclass 500 which is called study visa. Every student gets work rights during the study and also a post-study work permit under subclass 485 which is called post-study work stream. To know more about the best colleges and universities for you, and to take further visa assistance you can visit our website or can take expert advice by following the link in the description. If you need any further assistance or want to discuss anything related to your immigration dreams, then you can book an expert consultation session with our team of registered migration consultants. Our experts will study your profile and discuss all your personal circumstances with you. Accordingly, we will help you to explore the employment, work visa and other immigration opportunities for your profile in Australia. This expert session will help you to discover the genuinely possible immigration options for you. We will tell you the truth with real facts and figures. So, click on the booking link mentioned in the description to reserve an expert session for a detailed discussion to explore your immigration opportunities. We also assist employers in Australia to do all the work and other visa filing activities for overseas employees. So if you are an employer in Australia we can help you to get the best manpower for your company. We provide a one-stop online platform with all kind of immigration services for our global customers. You can have online consultancy sessions, migration skill assessment application filing and all kind of visa processing assistance by our team of experts. If you want to do a self-assessment and check your eligibility for immigration yourself, then click on the link attached in the description and download our app to do your immigration assessment yourself. Also watch our other videos related to work visa, immigration and skilled migration filing for your profile and don't forget to subscribe, like and share our YouTube channel. Also hit the bell icon to get the most updated and authentic information about global immigration. We believe that this video must have given you an in-depth knowledge regarding your career opportunities in Australia. Thanks for watching this video and we will come back with a new video soon.